In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to turn off your PS5 with your mobile phone using the PlayStation app. Now it's actually very simple to do, just pay close attention to install you get it correct and so you understand fully how it works. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to go ahead and do is we need to get the PlayStation app. And to do this, we can go to the App Store. It doesn't matter if you're on iPhone or Android, just go in and type in PlayStation. Now it's called the PlayStation app here. Um, and we can go ahead and install it here. Now we can also get the Remote Play app, um, but I'll talk about that in a bit. So grab the PlayStation app here, it's by PlayStation Mobile Inc. And once you're ready, you want to go ahead and open it up. So once we've opened up the app, it's gonna ask us to go ahead and um, sign in. So make sure you sign in with the same profile that you have on your PlayStation. So once we've done that, it's pretty simple to go ahead to the next steps. Now the next step is to go over to where it has this little game library section and we're going to go ahead and launch a game. So let's just launch any game, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and launch Elden Ring. And we're going to go into here and you can see that we have to download the PS Remote Play app for this to work. So we're going to click on this and it's going to take us to the app store and it's going to get us to download this secondary app. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And then inside here we want to go ahead and sign into PSN. So press that button there and uh, confirm continue, press OK. And you want to go ahead and first of all, you need to press OK. So for this to work, you do need to be on the same network as your PlayStation. Uh, click on PlayStation 5 and it's gonna basically ask us to connect it up here. So it's gonna now search for the connection um, and you have to enable this on your PlayStation before it's gonna go ahead and work. So let, allow this to sort of connect up. It might take a few seconds for it to actually find it. And as I said, make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi connection. Now, once we've connected up our PS5 to our phone, we can go over here and press play using Remote Play. This is back on the um, app we were just on. So find the game, press play via Remote Play, and it's basically gonna open up the app and it's gonna go ahead and start up the game on our console. So you can see now it's gonna search for it and it's gonna connect up. As it says, it might take a few minutes, especially if this is your first time um, connecting to it. Now essentially I'll speak through what's happening while it connects. When you get onto the game it's going to give you all the controls you would have on a normal PS5 controller. This includes the PlayStation button that you would use to normally go ahead and turn off your PlayStation. So what you'd want to do inside of the app is you want to go ahead and press the PlayStation button as you would normally and you want to go ahead and turn it off. So now I can just see the game is booting up here and boom, you can see I now have all of the controls. So you can see it says touch here to operate the controller sticks, tap twice or L3 um, and R3 buttons operate. But at the bottom you can see there's this PlayStation button here. So I'm just gonna quick click this and you can see I've now gone to my um, PlayStation bar. I'm gonna go to the bottom and I can literally scroll across just like normal on here. And I would just go to the power button I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go down to turn off PS5. Just like that. Super simple to do. So that's basically how you do it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make on PS5 or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.